Hello Dustin and YouTube, this is John for Lost in the List and I am filming this the night before I'm supposed to post it because I didn't want to post it in the morning before I had school. Ugh. Anyway, I'd like to talk to you about something that is very relevant to school and to its culture, especially in high school. So you often see people talk about different social groups. You have your band geeks, you have your jocks, you have your stoners, and then you have groups that are always, always, always fighting over who's the best, you know. Uh, although you could put jocks in there as well. You have your preps, your emos, your goths, your pucks, and then they're always debating which is the best group. Every group in there will say that the other group sucks, and really, they'll, the word fake comes up a lot. But when you talk about what's fake and what's real, fake is the literal definition of which is not real. The social definition of which just simply means to be someone you are not. Anytime you subscribe to one of these labels in high school, you are conforming to an image, a model, of what this label is going to want you to be. Not who you want to be, but what this label is going to want you to be. Isn't that a little bit fake, no matter what social group you're in? Think about that. As you go through high school, maybe you're starting school like me, you started today, today's Monday, even though I'm posting this on Tuesday, Maybe you start school next week, maybe you start school in September. In which, if you are, you lucky son of a bitch. Okay, just think about that. You can't subscribe to a label and call someone else fake. And by label, I mean you're a prep, or you're a jock, or you're an emo, goth, punk, band geek, nerd, you know, whatever you decide. But we all do it anyway because we want the acceptance of our peers. That's very important as we go through high school. So that's just sort of something to chew on and an interesting thought that I had. And I wanted to share it. 